Leave it. What? He gets upset if you move it. So, go on then. No, I did not. Well, not exactly. <laughs> what does not exactly mean? Well, I couldn't just leave it like that, could I? <laughs> can he hear us? Oh, well, he can't speak. Then he'll be can. He can't tell anyone, can he? <laughs> Lieutenant Gould, your reflexes are normal. There's no damage to your vocal cords. You can speak, if you choose to. For God's sake, you're not like the others out there. You're an officer in His Majesty's Navy. Four years' service, exemplary record. You're expected to set an example. Broken, I'm afraid. I keep meaning to get it fixed. Fiddly bloody things, aren't they? I think I'll stick to human beings. Rupert Gould, 10.30. Program? Children's Hour. You've got seven and a half minutes, which is about 1,500 words. How long is your script? I don't have a script. But you have to have a script. I have a watch. Don't worry, it'll be seven and a half minutes. Well, don't forget, at the end, say goodbye, everyone. Mm -hmm. Count to three. One, two, three. Then say goodbye. Why the pause? So the children can say goodbye back to you. I want you to close your eyes and try to think a thought that nobody else has ever thought before. Think very hard. Pay no attention to anybody else around you. What do you see? Is it just darkness? Or is there a picture? Most of us with our eyes closed just see the dark. But the artist or the scientist can sometimes see something new, something never thought of before. It's these ideas that can change our lives. And the people who think of them whether they are musicians, painters, architects or engineers, are called inventors. Some of you listening now are inventors. Open your eyes. Look around. Can you tell who it'll be? Will it be somebody with untidy hair and big glasses? I doubt it. But new inventions often seem strange at first, even frightening. Something that seems normal to us, the clock ticking on the mantelpiece, would have seemed like a magician's trick a few months ago.